We bring in Andy Kawaja. He's the CEO of Allied Wallet. This guy made a ton of money in the technology industry, and he deigns to join us on the set this morning in New York City. How you doing? Good morning, Stu. I'm doing great. Okay, now we here. follow on this program very, very carefully the big name technology stocks, and they've all come down recently, or most of them have come down recently. Are they going to bounce back? Uh, no chance. No the, chance. The, the, well, the reason why, I mean, look, uh, uh, food and water is a necessity, and the Internet is a necessity, too. Uh, okay. uh, ev everything, everything today has been done electronically and digitally from a mobile device. Yeah. yeah. So, so why won't the big techs bounce back? If everything's going to the Internet, everything is electronic, everything is digital, why won't they bounce? It, it's, it's, it's all related. It's all related to technology. Yeah, explain it, because I don't understand that. Well, look, I mean, uh, if I... I if, told you you were going to have fun in this interview, <laughs> and it appears you're not. You, you it, Explain to me why the big tech stocks are going to bounce. Well, look, I mean, uh, there's... there's from, the, from the global point of view, uh, on the level of global processor, okay, uh, you see that uh, everything is going digital electronically, uh, domestically, and internationally. Now... From my point of view, when I, when I look at payment processes in the United States and when I want to expose a global world for international payment, international consumer transactions, uh, the, the rules and the regulations is very, very uh, hard on, uh, on doing international business from the U.S. point of view. Uh, if you look at uh, a payment processor from uh, China, for example, or from outside the United States, they're much more flexible and being encouraged to transact internationally with international consumers, and they're not capped to do that. And uh, that's something that I, you know, I think... Uh, well, you look, know, okay, yeah. you run Allied Wallet. Correct. And that's what you do. You're an international payment Correct. processor. Correct. Right? That's, what's that got to do with Facebook? Well, I mean, we don't, we don't transact with Facebook. Facebook's completely different. So, uh, but you yeah. just, look, yeah. you said the big-name technology stocks will not bounce back to where they were. Well, you know, from the point of view of what section of technology are you referring to? Well, uh, we're talking about the I'm transactions. I'm referring to the stock. I'm referring to Facebook. I'm talking about Google. I'm talking about uh, Twitter, for example. You don't think they, you think they bounce back? They stay down? I have, you know, I have a feeling that uh, it's going to take a little bit of time okay. to bounce back, yes. Right. Now you're it, it might take some time. It occurs to, now, you're an international payments processor. Correct. Right. It occurs to me that everything these days, all kinds of payments are being done with these things. True. I don't need a check or a credit card or that's cash. Right. That's right. Even though that's what I like. Is this where we're going? Well, this is where we are today. If I would have told you 10 years ago that uh, you're going to transact and buy your food, grocery, everything to be delivered, pay your tuitions, uh, order, order a driver to come to you, spot where you're standing uh, by phone, you would look at me and say, you're crazy. You are, I would. But right. uh, it, it is where it is today, and I think uh, technology is advancing, and I, I do travel quite a bit uh, uh, to the Asian market and the see payment process of what they're building and what's the innovation out there, which is uh, blow your mind away. I mean... Uh, even, even us in the U.S., we're at least two to three years behind uh, on payment technology compared to, uh, to the Asian market. We are two to three at, years at, at least, least yeah. according to our experts. Have you tried yes. to wire money from here to an account like in Australia? Yes. It's like giving birth. It's, I mean, it's, it's, it's it impossible. Is. <laughs> it's tough. Not it that I would analogy, know. Yes. But, but what, it, what, it, what makes it tough... Oh, we go look, I've got relatives in no. Australia and New Zealand. Sometimes yes. I might want to put some money over there. Doing it is very difficult because yeah. of security. Regulations as well. Yeah, OK, regulations, I got it. But yeah. security. You can't tell me that when everything goes on this, it will be totally secure. Well, it, it, it is from our point of view. What Allied Walt has done, we've seen the market... Yeah, we, 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 from your <laughs> point of view, it is. What about me? I'm the one with the money. <laughs> well, the, the, the good thing is, whenever you enter your uh, credit card data or bank account and uh, in, into your mobile uh, device... Uh, let, let's say on, on our platform, for example, I, I'll, I'll speak for, for myself. What we have done, uh, we, we'll encrypt everything that you have put in there, which is your data, your information, and uh, the credit card information or your uh, 
uh, the, the, okay. the payment method you use, okay? And we encrypt that and we, we link it to a we call it tokenization, which is uh -huh. uh, no relationship anymore to the credit card information or the payment okay. method you're going to be using in the future. So whenever you go back to transact uh, using our, you know, the Alad Wallet platform payment method, uh, it, it's just going to uh, record the previous transaction that you have made using that credit card payment. It will give you the option, uh, would you like to use those uh, payment methods with the last yeah. four digits for you to identify? You say yes, you will transact. So it will never come back out. And that, that is encrypted and hosted uh, on a PCI level one uh, uh, environment, which is very, very safe and protected. So you can't crack it? Uh, pretty much no, no. Okay. No. Um, hmm. Allied Wallet is the name of it? Correct, yes. Okay. And, uh, the company, yeah. The, the company? Yes. You own it? Yes. Privately owned? Privately owned. Started mm. the company 13 years ago. And, uh, and you're from Lebanon? Originally born in Beirut, yes. And do you mm -hmm. think you could have done what you've done with uh, living anywhere else in the world? Uh, absolutely not. I mean, this is, the, uh, this is the, 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 land, you know, the land of the dreams coming true if you really want to work hard for it. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, my, my understanding when I was a child, my parents tell me, say, look, if you like to fight, uh, the best place to make it in life is America because that's the land where people have to fight to make it uh, to the top. And I'm a fighter and I like to fight. And I, you know, I fight very hard and, you know, I am where I am today. Yes, you are. <laughs> Congratulations, <laughs> young man. That's pretty damn good. Thank uh, you. I'm out of time. But look, uh, Andy, come back and see us again, okay? Anytime. We'll get your thoughts on Facebook. I'll Pleasure. Of course. <laughs> good luck, sir. Thank, Thank you. you.